Don't know if you saw, by the way, a few cool things that I, I saw. Do you know what is the global sets? No. Anybody know? No, I, no, I never actually paid Very attention cool. to that. Is that new or is that huh? just? Is that new or just I never yeah, paid attention? It's just to one it. of those mushrooms that pop up from time to time. So this guy, it's very interesting. So let's say that you have lead sources. You can define here the different lead sources. And then when you go to optimize your module, so let's say the leads, you create a new pick list, and then you can, instead of just edit manually and then copy paste from leads to contacts and so on, ah. It, it'll show up in all, it, you, t it, you tell it where, or it does it automatically? Oh, select which modules. Yeah, you select the module and you select the global set. So it's just, it's just like a pick list you can copy to other. And modules. they sync up. Yes, but, but you manage the pick list from one place. So let, let me show you a problem that it's one of those problems that are so common. So let's say that I'm coming to a client, I'm configuring uh, his lead sources. We do some work, we adjust the lead sources on the leads and the contacts, accounts, deals, it's perfect. Over time, the client have now more lead sources. So it's coming here and that will be a new source, whatever it is, maybe uh, Facebook messages. Right, okay. Okay. Now, he added it on the year, but not in the deals, in the contacts. And whenever there is a conversion, this data will not be copied properly because it's not set on the other places. And it starts to be, the data is not flowing properly across the system. But when you have a global set, you just define the global set. And then based on the global set that you define in one place, it's being shared to every, all the places in the same time. Makes sense. It's like how the rest of their system works. So. That's right. So that, that makes sense. For the few of us that have maybe some pick lists or things like that, that would be global, but right now they're still individual. Is there a way to fix it without screwing up code? If you have the loose code that's work that's already referencing that, you know what I'm saying? Because if you have the old way before the global set, Let's see. So let's say, let's go to the lead source. Let's see if I can change it to a global set. Before I do that. You gotta make sure it's, uh, in, I, you gotta make sure it's in the other ones? No, I, I just want to check if it's, uh, I wanted to check the API key. So let's say I oh, define right. the source. Yeah. And let's save it. Now, if I go to the APIs, it will keep the same source. Yeah. So the only thing that is changing is just the values. So you can change it to... So to if my contact had one in there where it said API, where the, you know, the lead source as a global value, as a pick list. I'm going to refer to the lead in the leads module API name. Sorry. I got a little confused there of what I was saying. <clears throat> so in the same context, we had, we had a lead source also. I'm going to you be referring the to the lead source API name, not the contact lead source API name. Is that what you're saying? No. So I'm saying in your custom function, you're referring to the lead source based on the Right, right. But what I'm saying is in the lead source, in leads, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Say, say it's not the lead source. We can name it whatever, right? But then also in contact, I had a another one that was basically the same one before this happened, mm -hmm. right? We turn on global. I'm picking it to, to match up with that new one in contacts. And then, yes. okay. And then I'm going to use the API name in leads. In the lead source name, or the or they both can be the same name. All of them are the same. Nothing changes. So right now, I I, I saved the the settings in in leads, and the lead source is the global set. Right. So in context, you're not going to have that. 
as an API name. It will still be there. I just need to change it. So let me show oh, you. I see. Oh, okay. okay. That's what I'm missing. All right. So I go to the customization. I go to the contacts. And here I will go to the lead source. I will change it to a global set of source. Uh, oh, you go there. Okay. I see. I was right. missing. Now that. it's telling me that there are some. No differences, obviously, because also in this system, it's all the same, which is very common. Gotcha. And now I save and now I need to go to the deals and I will do exactly the same. And now thing. you just, now you just keep referring back to the same. I got you. You can, right. you don't have to change any code because you just link them all together. That's right. They, they are the same. Right, right. They're all the same now because you're linking them. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't make a difference which API name I'm using. If whatever which one I'm doing the work on, it's going to change. That's right. And if I need to change the values, I just go to the global set. So I will go here to modules and fields, global set, and I will update here. Mm -hmm.